KCBD News Channel 11's Christy Post has been investigating this for weeks. Christy, what did you find? Karen and Abner, we found out if the clients want, the girls will take all of their clothes off. So we decided to talk to them, but later uncovered what they're doing could be illegal. Melissa Borat says she started Lubbock Fantasy Maid Service after struggling to make ends meet. As a single mother, I um, had been working a variety of different jobs, including waitressing out at the strip club. and. I was having to answer to a lot of people. So she thought, why not clean people's houses while they scope out the eye candy? As we learned, the maid's outfits will make your jaw drop. And if a client doesn't want them in lingerie, their business website reads the girls will clean nude or topless. To book one maid, it is $100 an hour. To book two maids, it's $150 an hour. Meet Star. She is one of the maids who entertains while vacuuming or wiping down a counter. She didn't want to interview on camera, but she says she's not ashamed and there are no concerns for safety. I have security who travels with uh, all of my workers to their appointments. Borat says this business is not a joke. They really do clean. And on their website, they say they do not exchange sexual services for money. Is there anything illegal going on here? Oh, absolutely nothing illegal. We have a very strict no touching policy. But Sergeant Jonathan Stewart with the Lubbock Police Department says otherwise. He says this business is considered a sexually oriented business. That requires a permit in the city limits. Lubbock Fantasy Maid Service does not have one, so he says they cannot operate. Just the, the fact that employees are, are topless or, or semi-nude in this case is just not allowed. He says if they continue, they could face a fine. Without a permit uh, would result in a, a penalty of $2,000 fine. Borat says she has nothing to worry about because as far as she's concerned, they are just a cleaning service with a fun twist. At any rate, business is booming. We've had college students, uh, business people, paramedics. And we actually offer a discount to law enforcement. Both the police and sheriff's department tell us if they get a complaint, they will investigate the business. The owner of Lubbock Fantasy Maid Service says if that's the case, she will seek legal representation. As for their clients, police say they will not get in trouble for using these services. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Christy.